Floppy disks, they were small and slow, but their strong point was that they were very easy to insert and remove from a system. Now what if you could do the same with a hard drive or SSD? Well, you sort of can. In modern case designs nowadays, it's pretty clear what is popular and what sells. And that is mostly sleek, minimalist designs, where the emphasis is on showing off your components as best as possible. With glass side panels, RGB fans, good cable management, and of course the basics of airflow and so on. But what is being sort of lost and forgotten from the past are really the useful features which a lot of cases came with back then. For example, I had an Antec 900, which looked pretty funky, and also had an integrated storage tray for stuff like USB drives. Just useful stuff, but most notably was my Cooler Master 692 Advanced, which had an integrated top-loading SATA hard drive bay. And that was super useful. Say you uh, need some extra storage in your system, or you need to get some, some data off of a drive. There was no need to take apart your system and that find a SATA cable and a power cable and connect it in that way. You could just slide off the cover and plonk it on top. A while back I posted about the 692's hard drive base situation on Twitter and it gained quite a lot of interest. Like, wow, that's pretty useful. And the people from IC Doc they saw that post as well and they reached out and if I were interested in a product which could add similar if not better functionality to uh, any case like the hard drive bay of the 690 and yeah I was interested and they were kind enough to send one out this is the MB795 SPB which adds not one but two hot swappable hard drive bays uh, to any case with a five and a quarter inch bay so that's pretty interesting. So today we'll first have a closer look at uh, what it's all about, then we'll install it and uh, do some tests. So let's get started. So here we have the MB795 SPB, trailless two and a half inch and three and a half inch SATA or hard drive docking enclosure, each with their own power switch. So it's uh, toolless, easy access and a vibration, trailless, hot swap, SATA 3, six gigabit a second. And as you can see, this is from their Flexi Dock line. IC Dock has uh, three categories of these uh, bay enclosure products. First up, we have Express Cage, which is tailored more toward home and prosumer use and has a, a tray design. Then we have Flexi Dock, and that is the trayless cartridge like design. And lastly, Tough Armor, and that is their enterprise grade designs, which are full metal designs and aim more towards reliability and security. The unboxing process is pretty straightforward. It just comes in a plain brown box with some satisfying bubble wrap plastic, very nice. And in terms of accessories you only get four screws to mount it in your case and a manual. If you've ever had a 5.25 inch CD or DVD drive, you already have a pretty decent feeling of what this product is like in terms of size and materials. At the front is the IC Dock logo in plastic, and we have two switches for both of the drives, each with their own activity LED, and these switches are relatively satisfying to operate. And looking further down we can see the SATA interfaces for both drives. On the back there is only single SATA power, so you only need one to power both drives, and we have dual SATA ports. The installation is very straightforward and easy, though that does also depend on what case you have. In my case I have Fractal Design R6, so it's super easy. And I use these supplied thumb screws that came with the case. There are two things you have to keep in mind. One is that you have to supply your own SATA cables. And two is that in order to use HotSwap you need to have a motherboard that supports it. And if you do, you'll likely need to enable HotSwap in the BIOS. As you saw in the intro, it's really easy to use. You just put the hard drives in like you would with a cassette into a cassette player, turn on power, and within Windows they are recognized as a normal storage drive. If you've done some work with them and you want to disable them, you just eject them uh, like you also would with a USB drive, disable power with the switch, and remove them from the enclosure. 
In terms of performance, the IC Dock does not appear to be introducing any kind of bottleneck when comparing to direct SATA 3 connection. Having spent a good while with the MB795 SPB, I'd like to summarize my thoughts on it. What I like, what I dislike, and who I'd say this is meant for. First of all, what I like. I really like the cartridge-like trailers design. As someone who deals with a lot of temporary systems, I often deal with drives where I need to get data off of or onto. And not having to deal with a, um, a tray to put a drive into or put it into my system, that is really super convenient. What I also really like is that it's hot swap. And lastly, what I really like is the compact design, the fact that you can have 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch in a single 5.25 inch enclosure. Now for the dislikes. First of all, it's not badly built, but the plastic is just a bit on the cheap side. It would have been nice if it was an all-metal construction. Secondly, it also would have been nice if they had included SATA cables. Lastly, I tested quite a few drives, and all of them worked. Apart from this OCZ Vertex 3, this is a very old SSD and it has a bit of a plastic enclosure around it which just protrudes just a bit too much and as a result it doesn't fit in the 2.5 inch drive. Now I'm not going to blame it on IcyDog that OCZ didn't quite adhere to the 2.5 inch form factor, but I figured it was something worth mentioning. So is this a product all people should get? Well I'd say that depends on a few things. First of all, of course, how much drive swapping you need to do. And second, what is very important is that you need a case with a five and a quarter inch drive bay. At this price point, around $45 on Amazon, it also competes squarely with USB hard drive docks. Those have the advantage that they work with any kind of system with USB, but have the disadvantage of working over USB instead of SATA directly, and that they aren't quite an as elegant solution as this is, as those require a power adapter, a USB cable, etc. But literally in my case I can use it, and I really like elegant solutions like this. Keep in mind that this is one of the more basic variants IC Dock sells. They also have a variant with 2x, 2.5 inch, and 3.5 inch, 4x, 2.5 inch, or even 4x in VME. Overall the MB795 SPB gets a thumbs up from me. But what are your thoughts? Is this a product for you? What do you think? Please do leave a comment below. Well, that was all for now. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to be kept up to date on future projects, why not consider subscribing to the Fully Buffered channel? In any case, thanks again to IcyDoc for sending this over. And that was all for now, and bye bye.